Hello everyone, my name is Shireen. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Minecraft Education, aka Playcraft Learn on Twitter tweeted this out and it reads, No matter if you're 6 or 106, you can learn how to code. Join millions in playing the new Minecraft Hour of Code to unlock your coding skills. Hour of Code was made and designed by the people at code.org, which is an amazing organization that allows people from all walks of life and all ages to learn how to code. I actually use our code at university when I was teaching as a teaching assistant in a secondary school and this was very easy to use, easy to understand and anyone, literally anyone of any age can learn how to code with our code. So let's jump into the code website and try out the brand new Minecraft our code. Ah, I see the problem. Look, there was a hole in the track. Really, Stampy? Maybe we should gather blocks to fix it. Let's make it a race. First one back to the top wins. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Okay, I'm just gonna gather some of this terracotta. Wait, guys, I can't mine. Same. I can't either. Okay, that is really strange. Stampy, can you mine? I can't mine. Okay, everyone stay calm. Is the game broken? If it is, how do we fix it? I don't know. Does anyone know how to write Minecraft code? <gasps> what is that? I've never seen one of these before. It's so adorable. Is it, is it tameable? Okay, what is going on? Someone needs to go back to the real world and fix this. All right, so after you've watched that brilliant intro by Preston Plays and his friends, you can then choose the character that you want to. I'm going to go to Alex, as always. If you haven't seen my first Hour of Code video, I highly suggest it. I do a great tutorial on there about how Hour of Code actually works, how to use it, and what's the easiest way to complete the level. So I will leave that link in the description, and also I will put a card on this video so you can go check that out. I highly recommend it. Okay, so first, let's do the first task. So, up here we have the information that we need to complete the task. So, the door is locked, but the agent is here to help. Snap a move forward block to the bottom of the when run block in the workspace to get the agent to the pressure plate. Press run and use the arrow keys to move out of the house to collect the chest. Okay, so this is the agent right here and you can see him in this little map right here and we have Alex here as well. So basically, we need to get Alex to the chest with the help of the agent. So what do we do? We move the move forward block all the way over here underneath the when run rock. So we just drag the move run under the when run block and we press run. And then we can use our arrow keys to move Alex forward and get the chest. And also you might have noticed that there's a diamond up here. I don't know if it's an Easter egg or something, but I did collect all the diamonds when I completed this. I can see from the green dots up here. Um, I didn't get anything from it, but it's kind of just a cool thing uh, to get the diamond ingots uh, so if you want to you can go up here get the diamonds go back down and get the chest and there we go yippee and Alex jumps up and down <laughs> when you completed the uh, code and also you can go ahead and click show code here that's how it teaches you how to code okay we're on level two now Alex is headed on an adventure to help get the map behind the locked door on the right. Snap the code into the workspace to move the agent to a pressure plate so that Alex can get through. Okay. All right, so you can see right here that the agent is right here. You need to activate the pressure plate to activate the redstone, which opens the door so Alex can get the map. So as you can see right here, we have this pink block of code, which is basically a loop. A loop allows you to do one thing more than once. So in this instance, we want to move forward twice so we can stand on the so the agent can stand on the pressure plate to activate the door. So we put the move forward block inside of the replete block. We give it a value of two, and then we press run. And we can go around. Thank you, agent. <laughs> and then we can get the map. And again, you could have coded the agent to get the diamond, but it was just easier just to get the map. And again, you can rate this, and then you can see the uh, code in JavaScript form. Okay, now we're on the third and final stage because I don't want to do all of it because I want you to do this um, for yourself and try it if you haven't already. Uh, so, Alex continues on the adventure and needs the compass to prepare for her trip. Code the agent to open the gate, or the iron door in our case. <laughs> so, we need the agent to move forward four times, 
to step on the pressure plate and to activate the door. So again, we use a repeat loop. We assign it the value of four this time because we want the agent to move forward four blocks. Uh, so then just press run. And then again, you can just go over here and get the compass. Yippee! <laughs> and there you go. And when you complete your arrow code, you will receive your certificate of completion, which you can print out, you can put it on a wall, and you can show off to your family and friends. I highly recommend arrow code again. I've used it myself. I've used it to teach myself. Um, kids and adults find it very fun. They find it very easy to understand and to use. Also, you can go onto the code.org website. They have loads of different games on there. They have Angry Birds, Frozen, Minecraft, obviously, and a ton more. Coding is fun for everyone, adults, teenagers, children. So go ahead and have some fun with code. And I'll see you in my next episode. Peace out.